Welcome to the Exact Contact tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to set up the direct mail newsletter settings for your contacts. We will start by setting this up for a new contact. Start by clicking the Add button at the top of the contact list on the right side of the page. Then enter the name of the contact and at the bottom of the main contact section, indicate whether the contact is to receive the direct mail newsletter or not. If you select no, you can simply complete the rest of the contact profile and click save. However, if you click yes, there are a number of other contact fields that you will need to fill out in order to complete the setup of the contact for direct mail. Next, if the contact has a spouse partner, enter the name by expanding the section below. Then scroll to the personal email letter setup section of the page, which is where you will select the contact's mail to address and where you can customize the contact's letter salutation. The mail to defaults to the contact's home address, but you can set it to the contact's work address if you wish. Depending on the mail to option you select, you will need to complete the address fields in either the home address or work deals, work details section of the page Below. If the section is not expanded, click the plus sign next to the section header. The required fields include the street address, the city, the state province, and the zip or postal code. The home address section includes handy links for looking up either a U.S. zip code or a Canadian postal code. Going back up to the personal email letter setup section of the page, the letter salutation fields are what will print above the personal message on the front of your newsletter if you select the one-to-one -one option for the contact. The first part of the salutation defaults to dear for each new contact, but you can select another option from the list if you wish. If your desired option does not appear in the list, click the modify list link to add it. Then type in the new salutation and click the add button. Click close at the bottom of the pop-up and now you can select your new entry from the list. The second part of the salutation is automatically filled in with the main contact first name and the spouse partner first name if entered. But you can change this if you wish by entering a new value in the field. The direct mail newsletter setup section of the page below is where you select whether you want the one-to-one -one option for the contact. This is also where you select the appropriate copy language and version for each contact. When you're done, be sure to scroll back up to the bottom top of the page and click the save button. That covers the setup of an individual contact. We will now show you how to efficiently manage the direct mail, the direct mail settings for all or part of your database at one time. Start by clicking the search button at the top of the contact list. Then in the select contacts pop-up, click the direct mail newsletter setup link. By default, the system returns a list of all of your contacts. If you would like to work with a subset of your database, click the new search link at the top of the page and use the search features in order to, in order to search for the desired subset of your database. I'm going to continue to work with my whole database by clicking display all and clicking select contacts. The list provides all the fields that you need to set up the direct mail settings for each contact, including the letter salutation, whether they are receiving the direct mail newsletter, the one-to-one -one option, and the copy language and version. You can either update each contact individually in the list, or you can use the controls at the top of the page to apply updates to multiple contacts at one time. Note that if you have more than 200 contacts in your database, the list displays 200 contacts per page and you can only make changes to up to 200 contacts at a time. 
To update the setting to the same option for all contacts on the current page, select the option from the appropriate list at the top of the page, and then click the update button to the right. You can still overwrite individual values in the list if you wish. After you have made all desired changes, be sure to click the Save Direct Mail Updates link at the top of the page and confirm your changes. If there are more than, if there are more than 200 contacts in your database, use the navigation buttons at the bottom of the page in order to navigate to other pages. Be sure to always click Save Direct Mail Updates to save your changes. If you're setting up your direct mail newsletter for the first time, you will notice that the one-to-one -one setting for all of your contacts is initially turned off. We've done this intentionally because we want you to confirm that your letter salutations are correct. You wouldn't want your newsletter getting mailed with an incorrect letter salutation. For example, Dear P instead of Dear Peter printed above the personal message on your newsletter doesn't look very good. You can quickly check and update by scrolling through your database and see if a letter salutation, if there's a letter salutation that needs correcting, and you can do it right in the list. Once you've confirmed that all your letter salutations are correct, you can then mass update all of your contacts to one to one by using the controls at the top of the page, as described before. Be sure to click the Save Direct Mail Updates button at the top of the page when you are finished making your updates. You now know how to set up the direct mail newsletter settings for a new contact, as well as efficiently manage your settings for your entire contact database.